Hey guys, I'm Vignesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we will be learning a new a big data technology called Apache Beam. So what is Apache Beam? How it is different from other big data technologies? What does it bring to the picture when compared with other big data technologies like Apache Spark, Apache Fling, etc. So we will learn A to Z about Apache Beam using Python SDK. Additionally, we will be implementing everything in uh, uh, Google Colab as well as in Google Cloud Platform uh, one of the service called uh, one of the big data service called Cloud Dataflow. So we will learn everything about Apache Spam, Apache Beam as well as uh, um, Google Cloud Dataflow in this playlist. So uh, without any further delay, uh, let's get started. So what is Apache Beam? So Apache Beam is an unified model for defining both batch and streaming data parallel processing pipelines. So uh, Apache Beam is capable of handling both batch data as well as streaming data. And also um, it is a portable big data pipeline. So what is portable big data pipeline means uh, if like for example, if there is a requirement today, like I wanted to execute all these things in cloud data flow, cloud data flow runner. So I'll be executing execution engine will be my cloud data flow. So after two or three months, once the requirement changes, like I uh, once the requirement changes and the data flow runner is replaced with Spark engine. So at that time, if if my if at that time I don't need to write everything from the scratch. Like I can take this code, Apache Beam code, and I can put that in Spark execution engine, and it will be, uh, and it will work. So this is the main and most important advantages when compared with uh, other big data technologies, which Apache Beam brings into the picture. So Apache Beam is the latest open source project of Apache, and it is an unified programming model for efficient and portable big data processing pipelines and it is an unified api to process both batch and streaming data so it's no wonder where beam is uh, beam the name is uh, originated from batch b is taken from batch and eam is taken from stream so batch plus stream equal to beam and as i said earlier it is a portable uh, pipeline so once a pipeline beam pipeline is created in any language it like we can be able to run on any execution frameworks like spark flink apex cloud data flow etc and we will be learning more about cloud data flow also it is one of the most important service big data service in google cloud platform cloud data flow it is a fully managed service for creating and executing optimized parallel data processing pipelines and like you everyone like the, you should understand the basic difference between a beam and uh, the execution engine beam is a programming model it is an abstraction of the code whereas flink and spark are execution engines this is a code we'll take this code and we can execute in every in any engines like flink and spark or apex cloud data flow etc we will be seeing uh, different types of runner supported at this moment uh, in the later part of this video so the next thing is languages languages supported by apache beam so java python go all these languages are supported now and r is in the pipeline it is currently they are developing r is currently developed for supporting apache beam and framework the frameworks which is supported are uh, give me a moment so these are the frameworks currently supported like spark flink apex google data flow and samza so uh, now we are moving into uh, architecture basically we should understand the architecture of beam so these are the current sdk supported by beam java sdk python sdk and go the go language and there are other sdks as well like uh, r that is coming into the picture later point so beam or runner api it is the core beam function it is where the core beam function will be present and basically these are the execution engines uh, like spark things apex cloud data flow and there are others as well so basically we will be working with big data so all this uh, java worker uh, worker nodes will come into the picture so where um, a cluster will be formed and all the worker nodes will be a master node worker node like all the big data uh, things will be in the picture as well 
So Beam are the runner API or the core of Apache Beam. If you want to run an Apache Beam code in Spark, in Spark execution engine, so this Beam or runner API will internally transfer Apache Beam to Spark code to run on the Spark engine. Similarly, if you wanted to uh, execute in the Flink, this Apache Beam, like this Beam or runner API will transfer, will get the Python SDK and will, it will internally transfer into Flink so that it can run on the Flink engine. So execution engines like Spark, Fling, where Apache code will actually run. So this is the place where Apache code will or uh, Apache code will actually run. Give me a moment. No, no, sorry for the interruptions. So I hope you understand the architecture of Apache Beam. Now the flow of flow of Beam programming model. So input. Uh, like we will in Apache Beam, everything uh, the data will be in the form of P collection. We will be making transformations, everything uh, to the data in the form of P collection, and we will be writing it to the output data, output location, or output database anywhere. So what what will be the input? So input will be in the form of text file, uh, BigQuery, Avro files, databases such as Postgres, Cloud SQL, SQL instance, uh, it may be directory or Google Cloud Storage, uh, storage bucket or like streaming data like kafka google pubsub etc and similarly the output also like it will be same like you can write it directly to uh, google cloud storage bucket or csv file or directly or hdfs stream all those things so how does and the typical beam uh, driver program work as for like work works so like first of all we need to create a pipeline object so everything I'll be showing in the next video like with the practical implementation I'll be showing in the next video with the pipeline when I'll discuss about the pipeline now try to understand the uh, theoretical part so we'll be creating a pipeline object and set the pipeline execution options including the pipeline parameters like if you wanted to run in Google Cloud data flow uh, we will be using that pipeline parameters and runner as well and create an initial P collection so as I said, P collection in uh, in data flow will be using uh, um, will be using P collection to modify to make transformations or to do pre-processing to read data, write data. Everything will be in the form of P collection and P transforms are uh, the where we'll be using uh, uh, transformation functions like filter, map, flatten map, reduce, uh, group by all those things will be using it we'll be seeing everything in detail like we'll be seeing everything in detail in the upcoming videos just try to understand the gist of what is present in apache beam so we will be writing the data as i said we will be writing the transformed p collection to our external source or to whatever we required so we'll be writing that and we'll be using to run the pipeline using data runner like uh, like this runners direct runner or cloud data flow runner flink server nemo samza twister all those things are runners in this so this is how a typical apache beam uh, pipeline looks like it will be an it, there will be an pipeline object we will uh, uh, create an input uh, initial p collection with where we'll read the input data we will make some transformations and we will store it to another p collection and we will make the unnecessary transformations or pre-processing and then we will write it to a final a destined, a destined location which is a Google Cloud Storage Beam or whatever it is and we will run the pipeline so we have like based on our requirement if you are like in our case we in, in our upcoming videos we will be using cloud data flow to execute our pipeline so I'll talk more about what is cloud data flow and what is the pipeline options related to cloud data flow in the upcoming videos so next we should understand the basic terminologies in beam so before starting there is some few basic things you should understand so the pipeline uh, p collection p transform aggregation user defined function runner i believe i already talked more about pipeline and p collection and transform uh, p transform now i'll talk aggregation function like group by uh, co group by group by per key all those aggregation functions uh, everything is supported in Apache Beam as well, and user defined function. We can we can write a custom code, and we can implement that as part of our uh, pipeline also. And runner. So runner is a place where we will be uh, executing our uh, Beam code. So as I said earlier, we will be concentrating more on cloud data flow. It is a GCP service. 
and these are the other resources where you can if you go through these resources you will get a detailed understanding about what is apache beam if you wanted to uh, learn more about it basically you can go through these links i'll be giving this uh, uh, this pdf uh, in a github link you can take it from there and you can refer it hopefully you have learned something new from this video i believe and if you if you have any comments or any questions please kindly drop the question in the comment section i'll take a look at it and please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics don't forget to click the bell icon and i'll see you in the next video until then it's bye from ignesh take care happy learning